All right, so I'm back with Angel. What up? Angel, how have you been since the last time we spoke? Good, good, good. I'm, as you see, I'm good, great. Not much to complain about, I guess. <laughs> Everything's going good out here? Um, You know, as much as it can be. But, I mean, you know, streets of the streets out here is out here, I guess. Have you got recognized from the last interview that we did? A lot, yes. Um, my comments kind of blew up on your video. Um, my Facebook is blown up a little bit. Um, there's some new followers on IG. I don't really stick with IG, but I use it. And I noticed that, and I got some new Twitter followers. But I don't know if that comes from yours, because I don't think we discussed Twitter. But Yeah. Um, what is your situation right now? Are you still out here on the streets? Still doing the same thing, yeah. Um, the only thing I've been doing is making more money on my own and got some people under me that have been doing, you know, carrying my work for me, so, yeah. yeah. Where are you sleeping right now? Do you have uh, a place to stay? Where I've been staying sleeping? with a friend off and on, going back and forth. I did apply for an apartment. Um, hopefully that'll go through. There are ones that take um, self-employment, so we're going to see how that goes. It's a little bit expensive, so I'm hoping that will all fall into place. Um, uh, that uh, unemployment, I did get it when they did the pandemic benefits. Yeah. Um, they were supposed to do my ID me thing. I haven't heard back from them. I don't get have an address to send my mail to, obviously, except for my mother's. And that sometimes I notice that the mailman don't put it there because I don't regularly get mail there. It'll get sent back. So that was causing a bit of an issue. So hopefully I'll be able to straighten that up as well eventually because I've got some benefits on hold. So you're right now you're currently working on somewhere to a spot where you're going to go yeah, it's a, just a... Are you getting an apartment or something yeah, like that? Yeah, it's, it's an apartment in a regular apartment complex um, that takes self-employment. So. Okay. So what else has been going on out here? Just um. That's about it. Try, there's been some problems on the block, a lot of trouble, a lot of cops, so trying yeah. to lay low, yeah. You know how that is. So what have the cops been doing out here? Are they kicking people out? Um, they've been kicking them out. They've been. It's weird because they come out. They don't even ask you your name. They throw the cuffs on you, take you downtown, and then ask you your name and check it for warrants and everything, and then hold you for a couple hours and then bring you back. But it's gotten so bad that even if you're walking up to the front of the store and you're not walking their pace, they kick you out. And you can even tell them, "Wait, well, hold on, I'm going to the store. I don't care. I don't care." And I'm like, mm, "Okay," and just tiptoe away because you ain't taking me nowhere. <laughs> Are you still messing with substances? Um, yes, but not as much as you see. I probably look like I gained a little weight back. <laughs> so, yeah, not as bad. Why were you so pissed off when I came up to you right now earlier? Oh, my God, because I get bugged day in and day out. Every hour of the day, I cannot walk to the damn store or anything without being harassed and picked up or, you know, trying to pick me up. I got this for you, I got that for you, come on, come on. Come. I'm like, oh my God, these, these men would risk it all. Like, Yeah. Are these crazy. mainly men trying to pick you up? Like, oh, for dates or yeah. I've had some women proposition me as well. Women as well? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, what do yeah, you do it. to like um, deal with that sort of like oh, harassment? I walk your... away, I talk shit to them, you know, and then they'll get upset and tell me how they'll knock me out. And I'm like, no, because he was just begging for pussy, so stop lying. Yeah. So... Do you have, um, like, a group that you hang out with out here for protection? Or yeah, I have my entourage. Do? I'm never alone. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you have? Do you keep anything for, like, self-protection? Yes. Yeah? Of course. I mean, I carry the general mace. Mace. And knife and some other things. So, yeah. And what happened to your homegirl, uh, Sierra, that... Princess. Or princess. That was um, I don't know. I haven't seen her lately. I know she got, she's in a lot of drama. A lot of people make comments about her. So I, they generally like her around or whatever. And that's her personal business. So I'm, I'm not too sure. I just know when they seen us together the last time, a lot of them weren't too happy. So. Yeah. What's been going on over here on 28th? Is there more people or is there less people now? No, there, I mean, there's less during the day, but there's been an influx of new faces um, yeah. that say that they've come from other areas. So I, I don't know what's, what's going on in their areas and where they were before, but they have came to this area and there has been a huge number of them. So, Is this the only place where you hang out at? Um, no, I go to Cactus. Um, sometimes I visit Thunderbird. And then Northern and Dunlap, so Northern it's wherever, yeah, 
somewhere. Where... Is there a lot of people up there by uh, Cactus and Thunderbird and all that? There is. There's a big uh, influx of people there as well. And a lot of new faces from there. Um, they One told me that um, everybody that was down like on Van Buren and McDowell had been ushered down this way lately because okay. of all of the stuff that's been going on down there. And then <clears throat> some people from Bell have come this way because of that uh, serial killer that was out. So, And then um, the thing with... 19th and Bell, a lot of people have not been feeling safe over there because of everything that's been going on. So there was a serial <clears throat> killer out here recently? Um, recently, yeah. He started on Bell Road and was making his way south. And then um, 19th and Bell has had some problems. Um, with women coming up missing, there's been 30 dead bodies found in, 19th, uh, in the 19th and Bell area lately. And it's not being discussed or not made public for some reason yeah so and did, did I, they I like catch to them or not? Uh, apparently not but like the thing with the whole girls coming up missing near that area and those motels like i i would like to see that brought to light you know there's that, those are someone's sisters what is like the sketchiest areas that you've been in, <laughs> out here 19th and bell makes me very nervous i'm not gonna lie i'm very very nervous 19th and Bell? Yeah. So that's the sketchiest area out here? So far, yeah. I, I, that's the only area. I'm used to every other area, you know, like walking through there or going and taking care of business over there or whatnot. So other places don't bother me, but 19th and Bell just turns my stomach. I can't sit there. So I refuse to. What kind of stuff happens over there? Um, there's a lot of sex trafficking that um, one of the motels has been involved in. And a lot of women have came up missing. And I just found out last night that there's a couple males that are missing from that area. And they do believe something has happened to them, so. Wow, crazy. Um, did any of your family get to see the interview that you did last time? They did. Everybody did. I don't know how they saw it, but everybody did, so. Uh, did they reach out to you? Um, I mean, they, they didn't have to reach out to me because I am in contact with them. Not very frequently, but... Um, I do talk to them, so they did tell me, oh, I've seen it. They were upset, you know, some people don't like to hear the facts and stuff like that. And they said that I didn't look too good. And I didn't, I watched it, and I wasn't too pleased either. Yeah. I see how much, you know, the weight difference. And, I mean, I'm still obviously not gaining too much weight, but trying to gain a little bit of it back. And I think I'm fine now where I'm at. But, yeah, they weren't too pleased. All right, Angel. Well, thank you for this interview. Th thank you for taking time out. Thank you. And thank you all for tuning in. <laughs> about your story. Are you okay with me using this on my YouTube channel? Of course. And just in case my subscribers want to reach out to you with any sort of help, do you have like a Instagram, Facebook, uh, I do Gmail? have Instagram. I cannot think of the name that it's. Um, oh, it's uh, underscore oh, so your Angel Marie. All one, one word. So underscore oh, so your Angel Marie. You'll see my photo. Um, I have Facebook. And you can locate that using my uh, email address, marie.angel, the number 82 at gmail.com. I can also be emailed there. And then I have Cash App, which is Angel Marie, and then the word uh, D-U-H. All right. Thank you, Angel. I appreciate it. You're welcome.